project design is very, I think it's very hands-on, trial and error. Of course I'm simplifying things now, but I, I think it still plays a, uh, an important role in how I, I'm designing. I'm, I, I need the physical feedback from you know, making something, from a material, but also of course testing things. In furniture we can build prototypes and, and sit on the prototype of a chair and, and feel you know, where it's right and where it's wrong. So I think that the, the approach to design is still very, um, it's very focused on the, the reality of that, what we are designing. I don't have a preferred material. It's something nice, it's physical, I, and, but I have to have it in my hand. I have to be able to, to really experience it. Uh, its weight, its temperature, its you know, sound, its structural strength. Sometimes I'm made of metal, sometimes even wood. It's a process. It needs time and, and people, I should say. It starts with myself working out an idea in my head. Then, if I think I have a certain a direction, maybe it's just a word, maybe it's um, a material I found, and I discuss this idea with the assistant, and from that first conversation, I can find out the potential or the strength of my idea. And usually we then, you know, we, we, we go off on a, on a kind of journey and we don't know where we will end up. <coughs> it is a, a form of cultural expression it, because it's, it's so embedded in context in all sorts of different aspects and all the constraints, all the information that feeds into a project makes it uh, and, and that's also you know the larger context of you know a chair that was produced in the 60s or a chair that was produced in 2011 but for me design is very much embedded in this and it should be and I, I like design which gives expression to that 